All right, take a look at this one. A first of its kind robot is cleaning up the beaches along the Space Coast. It picks up small pieces of trash right there on the sand. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi explains how it helps humans and wildlife. It's not a normal day at Cocoa Beach. It reminded me of the movie Wally. -E. A robot parked in the sand is attracting the attention of visitors. I didn't know what it was. Like, I didn't see it first. My son did. And his first question was, what is this robot? This is Beebot, the first in the nation robot designed to clean the coast. Cigarette butt. Developed by nonprofit Keeper Bard Beautiful, the beachcomber can clean up plastic and other materials harmful to animals like cigarettes, beer bottle caps, and glass. It'll turn into smaller pieces and smaller, eventually, you know, possibly ending up in the ocean, ending up in the environment, and the fish can get it, and then we eat the fish. This 900-pound solar-powered robot is remote-controlled and can last anywhere between two to three hours on the beach. The Natural Resources Defense Council says 99% of all seabirds will have digested plastic by 2050. This is just more of an offset to kind of focus on the things that we normally can't. We don't really have time to sit there and dig down deep and, and pull out the plastics. The executive director of Keeper Vard Beautiful knows Beebot will help not only clean up, but also educate the public on the consequences of dumping trash on the beach. Right now, bringing crowds like yourself, mm -hmm. it gives us a chance to educate the kids, and that's a whole thing because kids will remember this, hopefully not litter on the beach, and then, you know, we eventually might not have to do it if we can change the behavior. At Cocoa Beach, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.